and this is one of three championship matchups here at Hardcore Hell 2013, or as I like to say, I guess we're getting into the meat of the matter. And for my uh, uh, friends that don't eat meat, my vegetarians, I guess it would be the seaweed, things of the, of the come, but it's one of the big ways to kick things off for our championship this, match. This is the artichoke part of the match. Oh, okay. I, see, I, I like meat too much. I like that. Very nice. A big Anarchy Television Championship matchup. Billy Buck taking on the powerhouse Jacoby Boykins. And you know, Billy Buck went to lightning fast, but the problem is when Jacoby Boykins hits you, a lot of times you're down and you're down for a good while because of the power. Well, Billy Buck is uh, fired up in this television championship match. Is he at 100% though? He's had his trouble with the elite in recent weeks, the Deadly Sin 7, and of course this man, Jacoby Boykins. Boykins losing recently by a count out, getting another shot at the TV title. But what damage has already been done to Wild Billy Buck going into tonight? Well, right now, Jacoby Boykins on the outside. Oh, man! Trying to slow the pace down just a little bit, but one person that's not slowing the pace down is Billy Buck as he takes a high-risk move there. You have to wonder how much of that looks like on the uh, right side there, grabbing his side just a little bit. It is Billy Buck, how much damage did he inflict on Jacoby Boykins versus himself? Either way, it might have been somewhat effective, but Jacoby Boykin seizing that opportunity right there, using that mid midsection of Billy Buck to the, the apron there of the ring. Well, Jacoby Boykin's made sure to break the count of Ken Wallace. He knows the only way he's going to win the television championship here at Hardcore Hell 2013 well, is by pinfall or submission. You know, you're absolutely right what you said, but he just went over to Ken Wallace to try and break the the, uh, the count. I heard him saying, he basically said, well, that's how I won last time. But but as if someone told Jacoby, you can't win the championship on a count out. It looked like he was going to try to power slam him. Oh, he's going for the buck wild right there on the rampway. Billy Buck spins around, but Jacoby Boykins catches him. Check that. Oh, good grief. Arm straight into the steel on the outside here. And counts up to five again out on the floor. And again, as we touched on earlier, our referees certainly had the discretion just a little bit. No one wants to see this match end in a count out here. We, we certainly want a victory. Well, one of them's going to have to get in the ring and break the count. It looks like Jacoby Boykins will be the first one back in. He's saying what, no count out. He's, he's going for it again. He needs to realize. Well, I guess he wants to try and do some more punishment to Billy Buck on the outside here. As brutal and punishing as Jacoby Boykins can be inside the squared circle, he knows out on the floor is so much more of a dangerous territory and so much more damage can be inflicted. Well, you know, we saw Billy Buck was going to go for that Buck Wild on the outside here. Now, damage done, yes, but the problem is Billy Buck will then have to drag a, a, a person bigger than no, him. No, he doesn't. Billy Buck can retain well, the TV true. title via count -out. If Jacoby Boykins gets counted out or gets disqualified, he retains the title. You're absolutely correct. The, the question, though, is maybe Billy Buck wants to actually be able to pin Jacoby Boykins in the middle of that ring. But you're absolutely right. If he wants to be able to retain the championship, and if that's all he's thinking of, then maybe that is a smart move. But either way, he didn't get a chance to hit it either way because uh, Jacoby Boykins caught him, and now both men back into the ring. But as you see, Jacoby really grabbing onto that arm that was damaged already into that, that steel on the outside here. Oh, man. Billy Buck might have been just desperation right there. Connects into the face of Jacoby Boykins. Oh, catches a little bit of it. No, I think Boykins blocked it and Buck pulled it. Oh, good grief. He's going to work on the arms and Jacoby Boykins makes it great. He can't pick him up for any power moves. Can't slam him. Can't suplex him. Yeah, that's really going to ground a lot of the offense there from Jacoby Boykins. Smart move there from Billy Buck again. And yeah, Billy Buck has certainly had a lot of competition since he's won that Anarchy Television Championship back in that, that best of series that we saw him against Bo Newsom at season's beatings. And we've seen these two go at it again, and, and this has definitely been probably one of his biggest challenges, I mean, in size and also just in, in competition. Well, we've mentioned several times on these broadcast on our broadcast, Anarchy Wrestling Television, that Jacoby Boykins defended the television title last year several times for Bro Newsom. Tonight, he would love to have that championship recognition as the official television champion. Well, based on a lot of matches that we have here in Hardcore Hell, it's pretty much a formality for Jacoby Boykins to become the new Anarchy Television champion. And this might be him right here. All he's got to do is roll Billy Buck over, and it's probably going to be the one, two, three. But again, just holding on to that pain is Jacoby Boykins might have cost some precious seconds right here. Wasn't able to put his entire body weight over the chest and shoulders of Wild Billy Buck. 
Well, you know, Jacoby Boykin certainly has a little bit more of a size advantage to, to Billy Buck. He's got the power. He's got the elite behind him. It's certainly the tutelage of Jeff G. Bailey. And, of course, he's got that victory. Count out it may be. But he goes in with a little bit more of, a, of, a, of an advantage, if you will, over Billy Buck here. Billy Buck being dragged up to the standing position by Jacoby Boykin. Whip off into the rope. Oh, Other tackle, and obviously down goes Billy Buck. Again, just shows you that power, but still grabbing onto that arm. Billy Buck going into this bout with almost a 90-pound weight disadvantage. And you saw Jacoby Boykin's getting a little bit frustrated. Now, the problem is he's got the power, but sometimes that power can work against him when he gets really frustrated. He makes big-time moves, and sometimes he doesn't always hit him, and he uses it against himself. And right now, Billy Buck does not want to find himself on the mat. Not only did it get counted, but it certainly leaves the door wide open for Jacoby Boykins and any of those power offenses that he likes to be able to inflict. Still trying to get that feeling back in his arm. Jacoby Boykins, meanwhile, Billy Buck trying to fight back. Goes for a big time right, but misses. Jacoby Boykins boot to the midsection. Jacoby Boykins setting him up. Could this be a, a power ball? Oh my gosh, he's able to get Billy Buck up. Buck with the elbows. Oh, and a beautiful Frankensteiner by Wild Billy Buck at Hurricane Rana. Man, what have we, we seen that before? Certainly from the likes of Billy Buck. Well, if it's going to keep me from getting power bombed, I'll do whatever it takes. And being it, oh man, goes straight into the knee. Buck, yeah, Buck Wild to the knee, though. Smart move. Absolutely. He's already worked on the arm. Now he's going to work for the leg. Spinning toe goes in, and, and can he get it completely? He's got the figure four cinched in. And those are some big legs that have to cinch in. As you can see, because it's just the sheer size of Jacoby Boykin's legs, it almost looks like he doesn't have it locked in all the way, but it's still got to be doing some damage to the legs of Jacoby Boykin. Yeah, absolutely. And Billy Buck's got to be careful here not to get pinned. Got to make sure to keep your, your shoulders off the mat. But meanwhile, the referee's in position to see if Jacoby Boykin's up. He's going to be able to make the count as well. Jacoby Boykin's in a bad position here because you could get counted or... You could uh, wind up, you know, giving up here because the pain is too much. He's trying to reverse it. Oh, he's got and it. And a reversal. Billy Buck would be best to let his legs loose, and he does. What's really impressing me here a lot, it seems like almost like Billy Buck came in with a different game plan, a different mindset. You know, we haven't seen the Frankensteiner really before from him and going for the figure four as well. And he's working up two different body parts. And he knows he's got two against the size of Jacoby Boykins. You know, maybe in the past, Billy Buck might have only gone after one body part. This is true. It's going to take everything to retain the championship tonight at Hardcore Hell. Oh, good grief. That could be it right here. Jacoby going in for the quick cover. Count it. Two and three. Oh, it, Billy Buck kicked out. I don't know how he kicked out from that massive lariat by Jacoby Boykins. Boykins needs to stay on Billy Buck. Man, both men almost need to hit the reset button at this point and realize, well, what else do we need to do? We've seen this before, and, and every man gives it, both men uh, give it their all, but still the match is continuing. Both men are going to give their all here tonight at Hardcore oh. Hell in front of this capacity crowd. One of the biggest crowds I've seen here in Cornelia for Hardcore Hell 2013. Absolutely. Oh, man, we've seen that before from using Billy Bucks on Moon, the Samoan drop. And a little bit more devastating as well because of the, the power and size of Jacoby Boykins. Goes in for the cover. Could this be it? And still, Billy Buck kicks out. You know, as you mentioned, we certainly thank our fans for being a part of this as well. Wherever you may be watching Hardcore Hell 2013, certainly the, the tradition continues. One of the longest running super shows that we have in Independence here throughout the country. And a great crowd here in Cornelia as always. This is the 15th time Hardcore Hell has taken place here in the Anarchy Arena, the Church of Southern Wrestling in Cornelia, Georgia. And what yeah. a history for this event. Oh, absolutely. But what concerns me is, of course, our main event for War Games, of course, and the match beyond, because the landscape may change so much, we may not be having a Hardcore Hell 2014. We just don't know. So much uncertainty. Oh, but one thing that's not uncertain is Jacoby Boyk has just planted Billy Buck. So much so that I think he landed on his arm, that already injured arm. I believe you're right. And he says he's going to win it. One, two. Oh, and a man. kick out by the television champion, Billy Buck. 
what does this guy got to do? Like fly through the air like an angry bird? No matter what he does, he, he keeps chopping down Billy Buck and it, to no avail. Billy Buck still continues through. I do not want to see him fly through the air like an angry bird. Well, I tell you what, Bill, Billy Buck is certainly, as, as I've stated with Seth Delay as well, certainly at the heart of a champion. And he's going to need every ounce that he can out of this and, and as well as the fans of Cornelia to be able to, to put away Jacoby Boykins. At this point, I just don't see how. Jacoby Boykins, you got to figure this could be it right here. Over the shoulder could be a power slam attempt. Sleeper hold by the champion. Wild Billy Buck has a sleeper hold applied on Jacoby Boykins, center of the ring. Oh, Jacoby is trying to get that feeling back in the already injured arm. The blood's not going to be able to flow straight through, and, and that's going to really cause a lot of problems throughout the other body parts as well, too, for Jacoby Boykins. And smartly, Billy Buck using all of that gravity, that weight on the back of Jacoby Boykins. And now as both men settle down and go straight to the, the Jacoby's almost out. He's down. At some point, Kent Wallace will check on the arm as we see. That arm drops three times. Billy Buck will retain the title. And oh, does, only gets Whoa. the one. And Jacoby says, that's enough of that. I haven't seen that before. Jacoby Boykins with all that body weight. Seemed to be a good idea at the time for Billy Buck, but maybe not so much at the moment. Oh, just backs him straight into the corner. Now, normally that would have had more power behind it, but Jacoby Boykins still just trying to get that feeling back and, and a little groggy. And Billy Buck goes right back to what worked before. Yeah, you know, it's like I'll take a little bit of punishment on my back for the, the better good. It seems to be working. Well, that, that 300 pounds ramming him into the corner, doesn't matter how fast you do it, that's still 306 pounds, 308 pounds coming into you. Oh, he goes for the buck wild, but Jacoby Boykin slid out of the way. He's got Billy Buck again. He's fighting the pain in his arm. Oh, gosh, the power. He's spinning around with that big slam. But again, every single time he gets him into a position where he can cover, he rolls over because of the pain. You know, I, I, I'm all for doing the moves that you're familiar with and, you know, your favorite moves. But if it's going to hurt you more, is it really worth it in the long run? Well, it's having the impact. He's just being in a bad position to go in for the cover. Oh, you, wow. Billy Buck able to reach that bottom rope and stop the pin. You have to think that this probably would have been a, a, a three. And it just being in the wrong place, wrong time for Jacoby Boykins. If he had had in the center of the ring, we'd have a new Anarchy Television Champion right now. But as it is, this television championship match continues. Wild Billy Buck defending against Jacoby Boykins. The action is going near the, near the 15 minute mark of this television championship match. And Jacoby Boykins now maybe wasting too much time. Perhaps he feels like he's got it in the bag. Time will tell, but he's going up to that middle rope there. Billy Buck just trying to figure out exactly where he's at. Jacoby Boykins sits back and just says, come to me, come to me. I got you right here. He's setting him up. Oh, wild. wild! Off the top rope. He's got the leg hooked, and he did it. Jacoby Boykins kicked out the last second, but it was too late. Going all the mode and still Anarchy Wrestling Television Champion, Wild Billy Bosch!